And it is time for News Extra on KNEV. Brought to you by First State Bank, Scotts Bluff and Gearing, just a small town community bank, but big on you. And yes, the Fonzie is 73 today, Kevin Mooney. That's hard to believe. That's hard to believe. You do it better than I do. Hey. hey. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, John, do you remember the Fonz much? You, you uh, know who he is. I know right? who he is. Salmon so reruns. Yeah, Salmon that's reruns. it. Salmon reruns. Okay, bud. All right, we're going to talk about Bayard Sip and Sample today. See, that shows that shows why I'm retiring. You know, he saw him on reruns. <laughs> <laughs> and he was telling me I'm the only guy he's ever heard do the news in the morning. So, I, I am. You're, so, he is, yeah. So he is. there we go. All right, John Schmall here. We're going to talk about Bayard Sip and Sample over at the Bayard Depot uh, Museum. This is coming up this Friday, right? Yes, sir. This Friday, uh, the Bayard Depot Museum Board of Directors is hosting our annual Sip and Sample fundraiser. This serves as the only event we use to raise money for the museum for its continued operation. So I've uh, been doing this several years. I, I need to look back and see how long the, the museum's been in existence for not quite 20 years. And I bet they've done a tasting event just about since the beginning. So uh, they're a very, very fun event there in Baird, and they're at the museum itself. Yeah, and you must get a good crowd if it's a fundraiser, right? We do. We get a very nice crowd. Um, when we brought in beer along with wine here about three or four years ago, it kind of deepened our deepened our draw a little yeah. bit. Uh, brought in a little bit of a younger crowd with the with the kind of explosion in craft beer taste. So um, it's 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 a very fun night. Several groups uh, throughout town bring hors d'oeuvres. We have all kinds of food to eat. It's a it's a great night. It's a really fun night right in Baird. Five to nine is coming Friday night. Fifteen dollars admission. Yep, fifteen dollars. That's it. You can get tickets from a board member. Uh, Chimney Rock Chiropractic there in Baird is selling them for us, or you can get them at the door. We'll gladly take your money at the door, no problem. All right, we're going to talk a little more about this because they got uh, they even got a, a guy from Baird, his beer coming in, right? That's and, right. And we'll talk more about that right after this. Hey, Nebraska, Dave Ramsey here. When I get asked where you should keep your money, for me, it's a no-brainer. Locally owned community banks like First State Bank in Scotts Bluff and Gehring. They offer all the bells and whistles of the big banks, but with free checking that includes free e-statements, free online banking, and no charge first mobile banking, free ATM transactions nationwide, and no monthly maintenance fees. First State Bank, Scotts Bluff and Gehring. Member FDIC. Back on News Extra, we're talking to John Schmall about the Bayard Sip and Sample over at the Bayard Depot Museum. This is this coming Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. there at the museum, uh, $15 per person. It's a, a beer and wine tasting. Now, this is Nebraska beer, right? Yeah, this is Nebraska-made beer. For the third or fourth year, we're featuring Kincader Brewing Company. Uh, based out of Broken Bow, they've expanded. They have a tap room and restaurant in Grand Island. And recently, towards the end of the summer, just in time for football season, they opened up a location down on the Haymarket in Lincoln. And one of the owners of Kincader Brewing is a Baird native, so I'll use any connection that I can to get uh, <laughs> to get some some unique beer. It's been a great draw for us. Kincader's done us an excellent job, uh, and a shout out to Cody and his friends running that. They've uh, yeah. they they've done well. They've done real well, and we're very happy for him. Yeah, that's great. So it's uh, fun that he's going to bring beer there, and then you have wine tasting. Now that'll be. Nebraska wine and some other. Yeah, wines. we have some. We have some. Some Nebraska wines, some other wines. Uh, Dietrich Distributing here uh, works with us and helps us out with that quite a bit. Yeah, um, John always is. Yeah, to do done, that. done us a very good job there. It's 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 it works out real well for us. Real well for us. Yeah. All right. So uh, sounds like a lot of fun. You have a uh, food there. Yep. Um, um, the. Different groups, church groups, community groups will bring hors d'oeuvres. We'll have anything from meat and cheese trays to cocktail things to uh there's been pots of chili there before uh all kinds of sweets usually it's it's a wide variety it's always very good very good lots of food so people can hang around there for most of that four hours right oh yeah you can be there the whole time um i mean there's you think you've seen everything in there you probably have but we move things around we get new things we rotate things through um and some of our larger exhibits i mean we have a lot of chimney rock stuff 
Mm -hmm. You can't see it all in that four hours um, between the pageant and the pictures and the different things. Same with Western Sugar. Western Sugar was a part of Baird for so many years. We have so much Western Sugar paraphernalia. Uh, it takes two or three years of the sip and sample to see it all. Yeah. Did you get some of the Jiminy Rock stuff from maybe Gordon Howard? You know, I'm I'm sure we did, uh, Gordon being a big part of that. In fact, yeah. I up until the time I was probably 18, it was called Gordon Howard's, not Oregon Trail Wagon Train. Yeah. Least, that, that's what we knew it as, so <laughs> right. it, it was, it was right. his, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But lots of Chimney Rock stuff, um, lots of stuff to do with Baird High School. Mel Sauer, a local radio legend here several years ago, his family, uh, we have a nice display for him. Muma's Corner. Um, anybody been around a while knows Muma's Corner. That family hasn't been there for a number of years, but the name stuck. Several pictures and a written history ab about that as well there. Kind of kind of neat to know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, folks here in Scott's Bluff, hey, this, is, this sounds like a fun event. You can go down there, uh, drink some beer, drink a little wine, make sure you don't, not too much. Not too much. Not too much, but nevertheless, or have a driver with you. Absolutely. And uh, just have a lot of fun for just $15, 5 to 9 p.m. this Friday over at the Bayard Depot Museum. Yes, sir. All right, partner. All roads lead, lead to Bayard. All roads lead to Bayard. It, you to, have a shirt, right? We're, well, we're working on a shirt, piggybacking off our Pioneer Days logo for this year. Yeah. So, all roads. Okay. John Small here talking about the sip and sample over at the Bayard Depot Museum.